Welcome to Lightning Web Components. My name is Renu Winkelmeier, and we're going to talk about how to use parent and child components. Here in our recipe sample application, we have the first recipe API property. And this recipe shows how to use a Lightning Web Component that has a child component, C chart bar. And once we're changing the value from 50, let's say to 57, the child component automatically updates. Now, how is that done? The API property HTML file contains the child component, C chart bar, and this one has a public property percentage. The value of the property is also set to percentage, which reflects a local private property of our API property JavaScript file. Whenever this property updates, the value gets passed down to the C chart bar child component. But how actually does the chart bar component implement this property. So let's drill down. As you can see here on line four, we have the property percentage decorated with at API. This decorator exposes the percentage property to other components. Note that any at API decorator properties are read only. Whenever now the parent component updates the value and gets passed down to the child bar component, the expression gets called and a calculated style gets returned to the HTML template of the child bar component. A nice benefit of the Lightning Web Components extension for Visual Studio Code is that you also get auto completion for public properties in any HTML template that consumes it. So let's take a look how that works. First, I'm going to add another public property. I'm adding at API the new property now as a new public property for the chart bar component. Once we move to the API property HTML template file, we can now autocomplete this property. I start to type the, and as you can see, the Lightning Web Components extension for Visual Studio Code automatically gives me access to this new public property so I can fill it with any value that I need to run my component. This is pretty neat. Also note that we used camel case for the new property as the name within the JavaScript file of chartbar and we have kebab case here within the API property HTML file. This is HTML standard so please obey that when you write your own components. Now as you saw how you can pass down values from a parent component to a child component. Let's actually take a look how you can share data from a child component to a parent component. For that, we are looking at another recipe. The event with data recipe shows how a child component sends data to a parent component. So here I have a list of child components and once I click an item in here, it automatically sends data and displays it within the encapsulating parent component. Let's have a look at the code, how that actually looks like. The event with data HTML file contains here the child component, C contact list item, and it passes down contact values via the public property contact. It also has an event handler on select, and once a select event is received, it's calling the handle select function within the event with data JavaScript file. Let's take a look how the contactless item is sending data to its parent. As you can see here, we're using a standard custom event and we're giving the event a name select and we're passing details, in this case, the ID of the contact within the JSON object. And this event then propagates up to the parent component. Please remember we gave this the name of select. When we go back to the event with data HTML file, you will see that we have this select handler. So on event name, like in this case select, this will fire then the handle select function within the event with data JavaScript file. In all these examples, you saw that we used Lightning Web Components within Lightning Web Components. But how does it work with Aura Components and Lightning Web Components? We have another recipe, the Aura DOM Event Listener. And as you can see here, we have an Aura Component that has a Lightning Web Component as a child. And this is the only 
constellation where you can use aura with lightning web components. An aura component can contain other aura components as well as lightning web components. But lightning web component can only contain other lightning web components, but no aura components. Let's take a look how this actually looks like within the aura component. And here on line 15, you, we have the category filter lightning web component. As you can see, we're using the standard notation as you would use for aura components. And it's totally transparent that this is a lightning web component for you as a developer. Again, you can use Lightning Web Components within Aura Components, but you can't use Aura Components within Lightning Web Components. To summarize, passing down values from a parent component to a child component is then using public properties, and public properties are read-only on the child component. If a child component needs to send data to a parent component, you're using custom events. Aura Components can contain other Aura Components and Lightning Web Components. On the other side, a Lightning Web Component can only contain other Lightning Web Components as children. If you want to learn more, we are providing on this short link a trailer trail mix that gets ongoing maintained with new materials around learning about Lightning Web Components. Thanks for listening and see you soon.